Welcome to NGID tutorials. We are discussing speed, time and distance examples. Our first example is two trains are moving in same direction at 60 km per hour and 90 km per hour. Their lengths are 1.10 km and 0.9 km respectively. The time taken by slower train to cross the faster train in seconds is now we need to calculate here time in seconds but our speed and our distance is given in kilometer per hour and kilometer so first let's convert them so our relative speed would be equal to because they are moving in same direction so speed would be 90 minus 60 that is 30 kilometer per hour to convert this into meter per second, simply multiply it by 1000 divided by 3600 or you can multiply them by 5 by 18 which gives you 5 and 18. Now 6 into 3 is 18, 6 into 5 is that is 25 by 3 meter per second. Similarly, total distance of the trains would be 1.1 plus 0.9, 1.1 plus 0.9 that is 2 kilometer or say 2000 meters. Now time is equal to distance upon relative speed and our relative speed is 25 by 3 and distance is 2000. So 2000 upon 25 by 3 is equal to 2000 upon 25 into 3, 25 into 80 and 8 into 3 is 240 seconds. So time taken by the slower train to cross the faster train is 240 seconds. Let's have another example. Our next example is a jogger running at 9 km per hour alongside a railway track in 240 meters ahead of the engine of a 120 meters long train running at 45 km per hour in the same direction. In how much time will the train pass the jogger? Now this is a simple question only the language of the question is little bit different. Here it is given that jogger is running at 9 km per hour. So speed of jogger is equal to 9 km per hour and he is running alongside a railway track in 240 meter ahead of the engine because railway track is ahead of the engine the length of the railway track that is length of track is given by 240 meters similarly of an engine of a 120 meters long train and length of train this is track train is equal to 120 meters and its speed is 45 kilometers speed of train is equal to 45 kilometer per hour we need to find out the time which the train takes to pass the jogger so speed find out the time that would be equal to total distance upon relative speed now relative speed would be equal to speed of train minus speed of jogger which is 45 km per hour uh, minus 9 km per hour. Relative speed would be equal to 45 minus 9 which is equal to 36. To convert this into meter per second be equal to 5 divided by 18 that is 10 meter per second. Total distance would be equal to TD is equal to length of track plus length of train which is equal to 240 plus 120 which gives us 360 meter. So time will be equal to 360 divided by 10 that is 36 seconds is the time. 